Merry Christmas everybody. Well this is the workbench as you've never seen it before. Set out for the meal this afternoon. But what I thought I'd do by way of a Christmas uh, home unboxing is to have a look at this vintage kit. It's not actually a Christmas present. It was given to me by a friend about a month ago but I thought I'd save it for today um, because I'm going to be building this next year so at some stage. Uh, let's have a closer look. As you can see there, it's an old Keelcraft kit, a ladybird. It was kindly handed on to me um, from a club member, a friend. It was his father's and he said uh, he'd started it but he was never going to get it finished. And he was unlikely to build it. So he's passed it on to me and I think that's a, a lovely gesture. So let's have a look. Ladybird, it's actually a free flight model. Although I will be building it as a radio assist uh, model. 42 inch span, semi scale. Let's have a look. So, first thing I've spotted here, in here when I had a sneak peek, was the Ladybird instructions. No exploded diagrams here. Just a detailed step by step on how to put together the model, how to cover it, even how to trim it for free, free flight. Lovely in itself. It's, I just love who, seeing these old kits. There you go. And the plans. Let's have a look. That's obviously the fuselage, interesting design. The engine, it says for a 0.75, that looks substantially bigger than a 7.5 to me. I've got a 1cc diesel, which might just do the job nicely. Um, yeah, that's going to be an interesting build. And it's calling for rolling the coal in balsa wrapping it round in a bandage uh, that'll be an interesting video to make i'm sure wingspan's not very big at all so it'll be a nippy thing when it takes off and it flies around here we go the ladybird 42 inch semi-scale flying model for edb Amigo 0.87 mils, 0.75 or similar engines. Great stuff. The nostalgia in this model. Brilliant. And let's have a look at what we have in the kit. Well, here we go. No, this has been cut out by my friend. His father's cut that out. Nothing laser cut here. He's cut out two of the formers. He hasn't cut this out. So that'll have to be cut out by hand. I'll actually do it on the fret saw. So it's the root ribs. I think that's for the undercarriage legs. Or again. No, no, that's for the wing, uh, wing uh, lugs to actually mount it into the fuselage. But to be cut out fun and games you can see that he started to cut this out but got no further that needs to be re all worked nice job doing that nice it's been partly cut out i think that's you know it's nice holding something that somebody else has worked on i get as much of a kick out of bringing something back to life that's been started or left or abandoned as I do building from scratch really nice he's actually cut the ribs out he saved me a big job there doing a nice job of it too so they're the wing ribs some other components of all they've only been printed obviously on the sheet there's no die cutting never mind laser cutting they've all been cut out by hand Box of bits, lovely stuff, and then there's a bundle 
bundle of balsa always nice to see look at this just spotted it water slide transfer that'll have to go on the model brilliant there's some hardware to be bent up there is the undercarriage <laughs> not until you form it it isn't there you go some nuts and bolts it's a nice gesture and the wheels yeah I'm really looking forward to this it'll be an excellent build a big thank you to Roy for passing it on it was really kind of him to do so he knows I enjoy building so this is going to be one of the things I'm going to tackle in the new year I've got other things lined up but I'm definitely going to make this it would be a shame to let it sit and not do it especially as Roy's passed it on to me so that's going away back in its box and the family can have the Christmas table back ready for later on today so I'd like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas uh, a safe and happy one if you're able to have your family with you enjoy them please if not you can always think about them and if you haven't got anybody around uh, you always have the family on YouTube via the RC community. So all the best, everybody. Have a great time. See you soon.